Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Tekla Structural Designer. So one of our students of the record session had requested on a video on how to design a truss above a narcissistic building using tubular sections. As you can see, this is the tubular hollow sections. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do that in the Tekla Structural Designer software. So if you are new to our channel, you do subscribe to our channel and you can also avail the benefits of the record session of the Tekla Structural Designer software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we can go to models and then construction levels and then create two more levels for the ridge level and the eaves level for the particular truss. So we'll insert level above and insert another level above. The top level will just give a spacing of 1.5 meters and then click on OK. And then we are going to select the columns which we are going to increase for the particular truss. So press Ctrl and then select the columns in your building which you want to increase. You can also use steel beams above it. But I am here going to increase my concrete columns. So here we are going to just do the top level to the particular ridge level. Now after that we can use the steel beams to join them. So steel beams also we can use a particular section here. Let's go for the rectangular hollow sections of 145 and join this particular columns with the help of steel beams. You can have to be careful while you know assigning your steel beams that you pick the right points. So after the steel beams have been assigned, let's go create one truss. So we'll go for the roof truss, we'll select the span first for the roof truss and then click on next. Next, we want a Pratt truss here. Height will give as 1.5 meters. We'll just click, we'll just have three divisions and then click on finish. So after that, we're going to select this truss and you can just select a hollow truss here uh, and give any section to your hollow truss. So you can go for the circular hollow truss and give it a section. Let's say we'll go for 175 select. So if you zoom in, as you can see, this is a circular hollow truss which has been created. And now you can copy it to your desired position using edit and then copy from here to here all the columns we have extended. We have copied this and if you want to give bracings here in the middle portion for increasing some strength you can also do that. But before we go to model X will select this X brace and then select this point, this point and this point. Here also let's give some bracing this, this and this. Bracings have been given. Now let's give some beams for some extra strength and also for bearing the sheet. We have done this. Just click on validate. Validation is good. Now we can create some roof panels. So for creating some roof panels, you can go to this particular option of roof panel and then create your roof panels. It's important that you here you can double click. It's important that you choose your point properly while assigning the roof panels. Again validate model is OK. And now let's do the loads are already applied to the RC structure for checking. You can also apply the various loads like the area loads on the roof for the as the dead load and after that you can go to the load combinations you can generate some new combinations here because the structure has been modified next finish ok then you can go to design then you can check this particular option of design steel static So as you can see, the structure has been designed. Now, if you want, you can also go to this particular option and 
you can turn on the roof panels you can select dead load from here load and then the particular area load let's apply an area load of 0 0.75 in the roof so this will act as the service load here and if you want you can also add some live loads also but here i'm only applying some dead loads so here again we'll go to loads and then combinations and we'll generate some new combinations as per this particular load next and then you can also apply some roof imposed loads as well we'll go to this load cases and you'll go to impost and copy this type and this will do this as roof impost and this type will just change this as roof impost and we'll just click on ok so we'll just choose roof impost here and we'll go with the area loads area loads we'll just do this as one and this measuring will be projected so applying the roof imposed loads and then we'll go to your particular loading load combinations generate some new load combinations next next finish and then ok and after that we'll just go to design and then design steel static so as you can see the design has been done some beams have failed so what we can do is we can just go to this particular option of review and section material grade let's choose this section choose this as copy and choose this section and apply this and then again we'll just do this as a design steel static so now also it's failing so we'll go for a higher section than this select this and this particular section which we have go for ismb 350 and also here we'll go for ismb 350 and then this is selected press control select this and then right click and then design selection static click on escape so now your structure has been defined we have learned how to apply your roof panels that is of steel truss above rcc and how to convert the truss into a tubular one and how to apply the loads on the truss and how to design the truss successfully so that's all for today's video for more such videos stay tuned and connected with civil center bye bye have a nice day